How old is your dog really? Turns out the whole multiply their age by seven thing is flawed. That in a report at Study Finds, and don't forget to like and subscribe below. Researchers from the University of California, San Diego School of Medicine say they have a formula which more accurately measures the age of your beloved pooch. Researchers say dogs don't age at the same rate as humans. The study says the critters age much faster when they're young, but then slow down at about seven years old or so. All I know is I love my dog a lot, but I age about a year every time she doesn't stop barking like a maniac. <laughs> Lucky she's a cute little fuzzball. Study author Trey Eidegger said, quote, This makes sense when you think about it. After all, a nine-month-old dog can have puppies, so we already knew that the one-to-seven ratio wasn't really an accurate measure of age. The study looks at the epigenetic clock. Whoa, <laughs> words flying everywhere. That clock determines the age of a cell based on chemical processes like something called methylation, which influences whether the body's genes are switched on or off. Heidegger says changes in epigenetics give scientists clues into how old your genes are, just like the wrinkles in a person's face. The researchers worked with dog genetic experts to examine the blood of 105 Labrador retrievers and created a new scale. They say that scale shows that a one-year-old dog's genes are already closer to that of a 30-year-old human. As a dog's aging starts to slow, a four-year-old pup is similar to a 52-year-old person. By the time a dog is in their teens, they're closer to a 70-year-old person instead of a 100-year-old like the old system suggests. <laughs> My brain hurts from the math. So 1 equals 30, 4 equals 52, and a dog in their teens is equal to a 70-year-old. <laughs> okay, so it sounds like the whole thing just kind of goes out the window. I I know we like to think of man's best friend as our little humans, so it makes sense we try to compare them to us, I suppose. Researchers say one drawback from that result is that the study only tested Labrador retrievers. Heidecker said his team plans to test other breeds to see if their new scale for dog years stays consistent. They think it will probably apply across the board with all breeds. Now, I would be interested to see that. You know, I've had little dogs and I've had big dogs, and I hate to tell you, it seems like the big guys just aren't with us as long as the little ones. Georgie here is knocking on 16, and she gets around pretty good. <laughs> Oh, for all you dog lovers, you know you love them because a dog is always happy to see you. I've known people who say, well, what about that watchdog who wants to take you down by the throat? <laughs> My answer to that is, he's still very happy to see you. <laughs> well, thanks for hanging out with us here at the Study Finds Guy. You can always get more information in the link that's down in the description at studyfinds.com.